Billy Napier ran out of the tunnel and into the swamp for the first time Saturday night. It looks like the start of beautiful relationship. As the crowd thundered and the smoke billowed and a sea of orange humanity did the chomp, Napier turned to an assistant coach and said, Can you believe they pay us to do this? It was a can you believe it? Night all around. Can you believe unranked Florida beat no? Can you believe Amari Bernie made a game-saving interception in the end zone? Can you believe Anthony Richardson might make Gators fans forget that other no? 15 who played quarterback a few years ago? Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. But the Gators' 29-26 win over the Utes has fans believing the new era they'd hoped for has arrived in a hurry. Its architect is Napier, who is paid pretty well, $7.1 million a year, to do this. He could not have designed a better debut. Pretty good football game there, huh? He said. Want more calls for optimism? Here are three big reasons history is on Florida's side in 2022 Savor the Victory Recap. Florida Gators pull off upset of no. 8. Utah, give Billy Napier win in debut Gator Nation. The swamp wasn't just back, it was different. Gators top Utes in front of record crowd dare we call it Billy Ball, or does UF basketball have permanent dibs on that? But yeah, it was indeed a pretty good football game if you like tension, drama, and a near-perfect storyline. Utah was the formidable foe Billy Napier wanted instead of the usual opening game cupcake, Napier had to begin his UF career against the Utes. No, they wouldn't kick but in the SEC like they do in the Pac-12. But they were tough, physical, experienced, poised, and didn't wilt under in the hollering and humidity of Ben Hill Griffin Stadium. Every time Richardson and UF scored, Utah responded. That kind of resiliency is why the Utes were a two-and-a-half point favorite. But even if the Gators hadn't pulled it out, there were plenty of reasons for fans to leave feeling optimistic. You could start with the hometown guy who'd never started a game in the swamp. We've spent months wondering whether Richardson has figured out the intricacies of being a quarterback. Napier has been upbeat, saying the Richard sophomore is working hard and getting there. Anthony Richardson settles in his starter Richardson looked comfortable and in control most of the night. His passing was sharp and decisive, and there were the usual AR moments. His 45-yard run for UF second score was highlight material, as were some Houdini moves to escape pressure. My wife can call plays with that guy at quarterback, Napier said. His legs are, they're a difference maker. Richardson's running ability is going to cause a lot of sleepless nights for SEC defensive coordinators this season. But when it comes to intricacies, he still has some figuring out to do. Like on UF's first drive of the second half. On a 3RD and 11, Richardson didn't see Kean Zipperer open across the middle. He rolled to his left, was about to be tackled and overthrew a pass that should have been intercepted. But it was no night to nitpick, not the way Richardson kept leading UF down the field. We're figuring out here this guy is a really special player, Napier said. Who will help QB make the big plays? Another big question the past few months was whether a big play types that could help Richardson out. Ricky Pearsall showed flashes at receiver, though the guy that had fans in a tizzy was Trevor Etienne. The freshman back had five carries for 64 yards, looking to all the world like a clone of his older brother Travis of Clemson fame. The other back making a nice debut was Montrell Johnson. It got off to a rough start when he fumbled on that opening drive. But the transfer from Louisiana came back with some strong running in the second half. Who will emerge in Gators' running game? Billy Napier could develop a committee approach as strong as he and Richardson were in the second half, Utah appeared to be stronger. It answered every UF score with one of its own, right up till the end. That's when the Utes' last gas drive had them in the shadow of UF's goal line. And stepped Bernie to save the game. This group's got fight in it, Napier said. That's one thing I don't think I've said publicly. On opening night, we found out it's got fight, it's got a maturing star quarterback and it's got a coach who know what he's doing. Napier can't believe he gets paid to do this? So far, he seems like a bargain. David Whitley is the Gainesville Sun sports columnist.